Farmers are taking stock of what remains after last week's severe flooding and a look ahead to what can still be saved. Aaron Stuvey has this crop report tonight. Pat Duncanson has been farming corn and soybeans by Mapleton for more than 30 years. This season is one he'd rather forget. That in itself pretty much eliminates the chance for a profit this year. Farmers have been tired of the water for a while. Hundreds of thousands of acres went completely unplanted due to rainy conditions starting in April. And far more have crops that have been damaged or destroyed by floodwaters. Experts say that June's extensive flooding caused delays and damage not just to growing crops, but the entire ag sector. We've seen a lot of disruption the delivery of feed for our livestock sector when all these roads were closed. Um, we're now seeing disruptions to the barge and the river traffic of, of moving grain out that had been sold. And then also there has been some um, long-term disruptions with the rail. Duncanson says that the closest comparison to this year's flooding was in the early 90s. While flooded fields and destroyed crops are an easy way to gauge losses, he says there's even more damage to crops that are still growing, as damaged crops are spread throughout fields of green, and the crops that are healthy are far behind where they should be. He says that things aren't total losses yet, though, as there's enough time for soybeans to take advantage of a nice July and August, provided the weather turns around. Around. We can also look forward to a few things that are going right. And while we may not have a stellar soybean crop, we're hoping that we could still uh, manage to get a, a decent soybean crop if they haven't been uh, damaged or, or killed by the floodwaters. Aaron Stuvey, KUIC News Now.